All right, we're back here, guys. Today, for the start of the second episode of our walkthrough on the Samurai Tour, it is the 25th of March. Today is Friday, and it's day three of the tour. Let's just jump straight into the today's challenge. We have Captain Toad on SNES Copa Chupa Beach 2 in the Firebird Cup. We also have the Head Honcho and the Gold Crane Glider in action today. So, um, just also want to kind of uh, restate that. Uh, I also did this announcement in the uh, last part of previous episode uh, in which that I uh, will be going back to campus just very very soon uh, so I might not be able to uh, you know continue my regular update schedule uh, but we'll see how it goes later on because uh, I mean I mean my country in terms of the COVID pandemic is now coming into the endemic uh, phase so yeah, uh, most sectors have started to uh, gradually open up again, especially in terms of the uh, institutions. Uh, like universities are now uh, trying to come back into full force for the you know the physical classes. So yeah, and of course I'm like already in my final year of my degree, my final semester actually, uh, excluding my internship semester. So um, definitely gonna have to go back to campus uh, next uh, semester. Uh, which is gonna be starting in like a few days time so yeah that's why I would like to also get this announcement uh, up before if you guys would like to wonder why uh, but yeah uh, there you go I, but uh, I might be able to you know upload from time to time because uh, I did not get college so I will not be you know kind of stuck in college for the whole semester I mean and maybe I will be limiting my uh, you know my recordings to only weekends but yeah we'll see anyways back to the races I got first place right there I think uh, Mario just got blue shot at the end unfortunate for him 11,317 points 6.3k for 5 stars 21 coins and 14 tokens let's open up the TCP for day 2 of the sorry day 3 of the Samurai Tour today is gonna be 300 coins Alright, moving on to Ninja Hideaway R. Oh wait, this is the R version? What's in the first one? Oh, it is R also. Okay, so apparently uh, the R version appears twice in like five cups. But yeah, anyways, let's move on to the reverse version of this track. We have, of course, King Boo Gold once again. And of course, we're gonna go with the Dark Hop Rod and the level five New Year's Kite. Alright, so I think uh, when I first when we first raced in the first cup, I think it was quite laggy. I Hopefully this time it will not be that laggy. Uh, but let's go. Reverse track uh, once again for Ninja Hideaway in like after 4 cups. Which is quite uh, fast I would say. Usually it will reappear again. I mean the same var variant of the track will reappear again like the later tracks. Maybe like span of like 7 cups maybe. Something like that. But yeah this one just like span like 3 to 4 cups is quite, uh, you know, quite very, very recent. Okay, I did not get a banana by whoever that was just now. Oh, getting the shot. Well, I was still holding my, my drift, so unfortunately I was not able to uh, continue on that combo. But now we're in first place as we fin uh, cross the uh, finish line now into the second lap. Definitely going for the coins is better if you're going for the action count. With this time around so far no coin box which is quite unfortunate. I think I got like a coin box or something like in the this strike in the first cup the other day. Here we got that red shell hit onto I think that was Peach Happy. Okay, that did not quite work out to actually go on the top route. Okay, this is actually a, a quite a good coin box right there. Can use a ticket? Let's see if we can actually do some uh, final shenanigans right here. Uh, we were able to hit on one, which was whoever that was who just got redded by me. But we'll finish third place with a total score of 19,083. I'm not sure if this is actually higher than the, the first one, but we'll see. 10,100 for 5 stars, 60 coins, and 8 tokens. And of course, we have another tour challenge done. Let's see what this one will be. And it's gonna be in the total points challenge for sheet 250,000 points special, 3 rubies, and 1 super joyo points cap up ticket. 
Alright, now moving on to Bowser's Castle. We have, of course, our Meows are level 3 right up here. And then we're gonna go with the Comic Zoom Broom, as well as the Record Setter Glider. So this is the base uh, version of Bowser's Castle. I'm not sure if we have actually also played this one before. I mean, it seems like this tour has been like repeating the <laughs> variants quite frequently. But we'll see, we can compare it after this race. Or maybe after this cup entirely. I think I definitely remember playing this one like very recently. The frames are very dropping, it's quite hard for me to uh, control. But we still have the combo so far, which is nice. Oh, someone has a coin, but I was gonna try and make use of this as well. We also got shocked in the process, so this shock will... I mean, the coin box guy, whoever that was, is gonna be very useful to us. Right now, we're in the first place, we got a slipstream right there. Ooh, a coin box. Am I gonna get reddit? Yep, as I just said that, I got reddit. And of course, we're gonna lose the combo. No big deal. I think everyone just got reddit. I'm gonna get reddit again. Yeah, there we go. I'm gonna use the coin box right now because we got a... Uh, our, our speed just got, uh, you know, got killed right there. So why not use the coin box there, right? Be, uh, it's gonna be good so that we will not kind of waste it in the gliding part. But here we go, a bomb frenzy. Or it's full name, the bomb frenzy. Ooh. Oh, oh my god, that Giga Babom though. Lost the combo again, okay, we're getting wrecked this race, apparently. Oh wait, that's a Peach Yukata with a Giga Babom. That was not a good coin box that I used right there. I actually missed out on the uh, ramp. So I'm gonna use the ticker right here. I just threw that green shell in the lava. But let's finish for fourth place. Not too good, but not too bad. 16,204 points. Should be enough for three stars because this is a regular variant of the track, right? So, should be no big deal to get that th uh, five stars. 9.1k for five stars, 42 coins, and two tokens. Okay, let's uh, kind of retrack our, our steps. So, there's Ninja Hideaway we are. So, I think this course is, I got 1,000 more in that one. Uh, where's Bowser's Castle? Oh, okay, so it, apparently we only have played on RT. So yeah, the regular one is actually still new for this tour. But yeah, let's move on into Steel Clear of Obstacles. We have Baby Mario in what seems to be Ghost Valley. Uh, definitely our max Ghost Valley is not in this tour because we just played like, I think it was the regular, I think it was the second version, I'm not too sure. But yeah, I think this is Ghost Valley 2, if I am not mistaken. And let's go. So it's, what, what was it again? Okay, it is a uh, steer club obstacle. We're not gonna go for the Goombas. I kind of got confused there for a second when I saw the towers of Goombas. I thought it was gonna be a what do you call it? A Goomba challenge, takedown, Goomba takedown challenge. But it's, it's not. It's actually the entirely opposite one. So we're gonna go far right right here and avoid those Goombas. And we're gonna go on this gliding ramp. Of course, we cannot take the shortcut right there on the far left. So we're gonna just go and avoid the Goombas while we are gliding. And this part here. Gonna have to time it right, we're of course gonna keep ourselves in the middle and there we go. Easy 3 balloons still intact and that's gonna be an easy 3 stars. Definitely no high scores for this because the high score is just not getting hit at all. And there we go, we are now done with the Fire Bro Cup. Moving on into the King Boo Cup but before that we're gonna claim another 2.5 year anniversary challenge. Which is gonna be clear 5 cups. And that's of course gonna reward you with 1 ruby. And now, uh, King Boo Cup, we have uh, Birdo Black coming up next, so I'm just gonna save that for tomorrow. Let's open up our available tour groups, it's gonna be 10 rubies, Baby Mario, and the Poltergust 3000. Oh sorry, Poltergust 4000, okay I got that number wrong, but it's okay, at least I still got the Poltergust correct. Let's open up my shop and let's see what I can get from my daily selects lineup for today. Ooh, I have a high-end skill-up glider. 
And I'm gonna get this egg one card real quick as well. That's gonna be a level up to level five for that card. Uh, how many tickets I have? I have 15, so I'm not gonna go for that right now. But yeah, that's gonna be about it for today. I'm gonna open up the Warrior Cup as well right here. There you go, Warrior Cup races. And I'll be back tomorrow for the King Boo Cup. Alright guys, we're back here today. It's the 26th of March. It is Saturday and we're gonna be knowing the next rank cup and should be the third cup. It's gonna be the Mii Cup. Let's see if it's real or not. And it's gonna be yeah, the Mii Cup. The King Boo Mii Racing Suit is a reward if you are ranked in tier 50 or above and you get first place in the rank cup for the second half of the tour. So it is for this week as well. So if you are above tier 50 and you get first place, you will then get rewarded with the King Boo Mii Racing Suit. Alright, let's jump straight into the today's challenge. For today, we have ba uh, sorry, Black Birdo with our Max Choco Island 2T in the King Boo Cup. We also have the Golden Jack O' Lantern cart as well as the Gold Crane Glider. Or oh, I, I should say the Gold Pumpkin. I, I just I don't, I'm not sure why I went for the Jack O' Lantern uh, phrase, but still the same thing I would say pr pr practically. Okay, our Max Choco Island right now. The second version, right? If I remember correctly. Oh my god, oh my god. I was uh, getting rained down with the bombs and green shells. Thank god it just doesn't hit my head. Oh my god, I just hit myself with that green shell. Okay, lots of combo, no big deal. We're gonna have fourth place box right here. And it's gonna be a banana frenzy, let's go. And we got the shock dodge as well. Thank you so much, frenzy, for that. gonna get those tokens uh, as much as we can. I mean the best way to get uh, tokens in this tour is to grind of course. Uh, you know of course hits like bananas and such. The best way is to use Donkey Kong. Maybe like uh, I think one of the Wa uh, Waluigi Pinball courses he's in the top shelf and if you get a giant banana frenzy in that race then you're definitely going for the goal. We got another banana frenzy apparently which is nice. But let's see if any of those uh, AI will actually be able to hit it in time before we uh, get past the finish line. Apparently not. So yeah, 20,098 points and we got a first place finish. Eleven thousand one hundred for five stars, forty nine coins, twelve tokens. Let's open up the TCP for day four of the tour here today. I'm not sure why it's taking quite a while to load there. But yeah, let's open it up right now and it's going to be 300 coins all right and we have another tour challenge done off that uh, race and let's see what it's gonna be and it's going to be in the total points challenge uh, card 300,000 points threshold 1,000 coins and 10 item tickets and looks like I have the coins of plenty event here today so I'm just gonna go on and play the coins in plenty cup here the cat peach cup let's move on into RMX one lake 1t uh, looks like I can use quite a few number of characters up here, but I'm gonna go with uh, Cat Peach. I, I just got her recently, so kind of I can now showcase her. And I can also kind of showcase the Black Toe Bean Balloon, so let's go on. Why not, right? I can still add more points to both of these items. Maybe also the Comic Zoomer, I don't think it's maxed out. Yeah, okay, it is maxed out, so no big deal about that. Okay, thank you to whoever just launched that uh, dash ring. Ooh, a super horn. Not sure that actually hits on anyone, but it's okay. Alright, taking the best lines. Now we're into the second lap. Still have the combo up and running, which is very, very good for us. Okay, thank god I did not actually uh, throw that green shell. Kinda saw that banana. Oh no, not the blue shell. I'm gonna use a ticket right here. Oh, 
That red, that red shot at the end actually scared me, but okay, we were able to still finish first place non-stop combo, 17,796 points. Might go up a little because of maybe my characters or my glider would level up, yep, definitely. 10,900 for 5 stars, 30, 364 coins, of which 64 comes from the race itself and 4 tokens. Moving on into Ghost Valley 1T. Uh, coin box, of course. And then we'll go with the level 5 para wing, yep. And the level 7 lightning all paper glider. All right, let's go. It looks like we did not get a coin box, but we're gonna let uh, so someone else's coin box benefit us right now. There we go, Mario Hakama, but then I got Banana, which is quite unfortunate. I got Mega then. Okay, we still have the combat up and running, which is something to be... to take into consideration of our, you know, our race value, I would say. But this combo of items is not the best one, I would say. Okay, King Boo actually uh, hit that bomb. I'm gonna take the bottom route right now, I think it's much faster. Okay, from 6 to uh, first, real quick. I accidentally threw that uh, bomb just now when I had the coin box, but okay, we were able to still finish first place non stop combo 16,577 points. We also got a coin box at the end, which is still quite useful. And I mean, I was mega when I got like some of the coins there, so a greater pool of number of coins. But there we go, uh, 8,100 for 5 stars, 335 coins, and 2 tokens. Moving on to Ninja Hideaway, we have a few characters up here. I can actually get my King Bob to level 6 and he will be a top shelf. Uh, but I'm gonna go with uh, Nabit, level 3 with a lucky 7. We're gonna go with this Crawly card that I just got from the ACP, I think, last tour. And of course, the Record Setter Glider. Alright, this is the uh, basic version, right? Or the reg regular version of this track? Oh, I did not get up on that part, so it's okay. I'm gonna take this route as usual. I just got gifted some coins there. I'm not too sure what happened. Oh, I lost the combo. I, I did not mean to, uh, you know, uh, hold that drift for too long. But the race will go on. Well, we're gonna take this gliding part and go on this top route, which is in the roof. Oh, I, I thought that was uh, gonna be a jump uh, ramp, but apparently not. Whoever has a, uh, what do you call it, a boomerang here is gonna, definitely gonna enjoy that part. Okay, do not hold your drift here for too long if you would like to, uh, what do you call it, uh, maintain your combo, your non-stop combo. Okay, we got a coin friends at the very end, which is something I would say. It's not definitely going to be a uh, full frenzy, but at least it's something, right? And there we go, first place finish with a total score of 18,389 points. I mean, it was quite laggy towards the middle of that part, but I guess it's okay. Alright, my quality card can level up to 256, 9.3k for 5 stars, 372 coins, and 6 tokens. And of course, that's going to be another tour challenge done, as I expected actually, uh, in, uh, in my mind. 350,000 points threshold, 3 rubies, 5 driver point boost tickets, as well as cards and gliders. And that's the first sheet of the total points challenge done. 
Moving on into the second sheet, which of course we're going to be starting off in the next episode. We have going to be opening up the pink gold peach card right now and also open up some of our available tour gifts. It's going to be glider tickets, specifically the point boost ticket and the super skill up ticket. Go on into my shop right now and let's see what I can get from my dealer selects today. Oh, there's quite a lot of uh, point boost tickets that I can get. So I'm just going to quickly grab all of these as well. And I can see that Waluigi glider on the bottom right, which is definitely going to be worth uh, taking. It's only 2,000 coins, right? It's going to be a free level up. Not really a free, but direct level up to level 6 right there. He, it will gain one favorite course, which is going to be Waluigi Pinball R. And I'm also going to get this Zucchini card. 3 or 4, level 4. Alright, that's going to be about it for today. I'll see you guys tomorrow uh, in the King Boo Cup with Waluigi Pinball with King Boo. Alright guys, we're back here today for another recording part of episode 2. It's the 27th of March today, it is Sunday. I just logged in for today and we have the special pipe of the tour. We have the Shinobi pipe, so this pipe will start off with 50 things in it. And now let's check out the contents of this pipe. We can definitely see Pink Shy Guy Ninja, the debuts, escape your opponents with giant banana. This pipe starts off with 50 things in it. The Sakura Hop Rock debuts as well and other frog themed cards are here. So here we go with the Pink Shy Guy Ninja with the giant banana special skill. He has 5 starting favorite courses and he is the only item or driver I would say that is in the spotlight. Uh, but we also have the Sakura something, yeah Sakura uh, Hop Rod. I think it's the name of the cart. Yep. And it's going to be the new stuff but it's not going to be spotlight for that. So yeah, Pink Shy Guy Ninja 2% and then three other characters and then four uh, cards but out of the three characters that are not spotlight you can only get two out of the three when repeating is possible and out of the four glider sorry uh, cards you can also only get two until you empty up the pipe so you can always reset and if you would like to go for more you can always do that but now let's jump straight into the today's challenge for today we have king boo uh, it's day five right on the tour here today ds waluigi pinball with the, uh, what's that, the Crawley cart and the Dry Bowser umbrella. Man, my my words are all over the place today, but yeah, here we go. King Boo in the spider cart looks really uh, horrifying, I would say, <laughs> in certain perspective. But let's hope we can actually get a clean race uh, in, in terms of, of course, our races, of course. So, we're of course not going to go for the dash panels entirely because I think I did that like last tour, I kind of just missed out entirely on the uh, item boxes. But okay, we just got Mega Mushroom, but I think that was uh, Metal Mario. But good thing I had a Mushroom so I was able to still maintain my speed and of course we just get redded out of nowhere and now we are in 7th place. So, looks like we are going to be racing this from the back and now in 8th place, I think that was a 7th place box though, but yeah. Got a double mushroom and a coin. It could have been easily a mushroom frenzy. Come on, game. Just give me the mushroom frenzy already. But yeah, we're still in eighth place with the double mushroom. We're gonna use these mushrooms just before this item box. We're gonna get a seventh place item box. And oh my god, that green shell was on a mission. But here we go. The red, sh uh, sorry, not the red shell. The lucky seven frenzy here is gonna definitely bring us back into the race. And from seventh all the way to third place. Let's hope we that we do not get screwed all over by any other. Uh, green shells or anything and here we go lap 2 and we just got 10,000 points right there so no big deal could definitely uh, get past 20k but 30k so something could definitely be possible but I have to just replay this course if I would like to get that 30k uh, benchmark oh my god I, I that was a lot of bananas I do not know how I was able to avoid all those bananas but we did avoid it and I of course I just got fireballed out of nowhere my gosh, but yeah, okay, fourth place now, fourth place box, let's see if we can get lucky with any of the other friends, nope, and, but yeah, we're gonna get the revenge bomb kill onto Metal Mario, and uh, Green Shell will not actually hit onto your mom, uh, not your mom guys, I mean the guy in, in front of me, his username is your mom, but now we're gonna be getting wrecked with the pinballs, alright, oh no, I'm gonna get wrecked by my own bomb, that's unfortunate, and okay, we got a bob bomb frenzy, I don't think this is gonna be useful, uh, much, yeah, definitely gonna be useful because of how Bobom's throws are actually not really that accurate. But yeah, we're gonna be finishing fourth place. At least it's better than fifth or sixth, right? Twenty-two thousand and fourteen points. My Crawley card's gonna level, level up to two hundred sixty-two, six point three k for five stars, forty-seven coins, and eighteen tokens. 
And of course for the today's challenge reward it's gonna be 5 rubies since it's the 5th day of the tour here today right? And every uh, multiple of 5 you will definitely get rubies. But now we're moving on to N64 Calamari Desert 2R. I'm gonna go on with Dry Bones Gold, the Bruiser and the Pink Gold Paper Glider. So right, uh, this is I think my Dry Bones level 6 and then Bruiser level 5 and the PGPG. PG. It's also level 5 I believe so yeah. Big uh, level stuff right here. Let's hope for the frenzies and the high score of course. Alright, starting off in 7th place. Uh, okay, I actually accidentally used that uh, item box so quite unfortunate. And I was not able to use that mushroom because of the slight frame rate drop. But okay, I'm gonna keep this red shell as a protection for myself. No, I'm gonna throw that of course behind just after. Just as we uh, get a new box, did not get a mini turbo there unfortunately, and of course as I, ju as I just used that green shell, I'm gonna get redded. But yeah, that's Funky Kong for you guys, and the green shell just missed unfortunately, and of course we get shocked. Very very unfortunate uh, races for uh, today, as of right now. It's quite unfortunate, we're getting redded every time, and then getting pumped here and there. But now we're into the checkpoint, the second half of this track, and we got another green shell uh, right there. I'm just gonna throw it back, and we got someone, which is something I would say, definitely. I mean, if you get a green shell, just you can just of course throw it at the side so that it could hopefully ricochet and hit onto someone. But Pauline here is going up for the challenge, trying to get my first place part, but it's not gonna happen. I'm gonna get this. Out of box and it's gonna be a coin frenzy, this is one frenzy that would be useful right now and definitely gonna be useful because it's going to definitely win us the race and there we go, first place finish with a total score of 20,987 points. Oh, I'm just gonna, just gonna round it off to 21,000 because why not, right? And that was, I would say, a mediocre race. And yeah, there we go, 7.5k for 5 stars, 59 coins and 8 tokens. And of course, as I expected, we're going to be getting another tour challenge done. Let's see what this one will be. It's going to be in the second total points challenge sheet. 400,000 points threshold that's going to give us 1,000 coins and one super driver skill up ticket. And now moving on to the final race of this cup, we have the combo attack. We're going to be playing as Monty Mole in 3DS Bowser's Castle. Alright, so this is going to be a trick variant, of course, yep, definitely going to be the trick variant of this track and definitely going to be, I would say, easy. I think for this track, I do not have a top shelf uh, glider in normal races, but yeah, this time around, for these combo attack races, they are definitely going to be giving you the, uh, I mean, I would say, the top shelf effects of this stuff. So yeah, I'm just going to use that mushroom right there to maintain a combo. I mean, that part right there, the stairs is actually quite tricky, uh, but yeah. Now we got double mushrooms, that's something good to say, and that part just just doesn't really, uh, you know, kind of be helpful at most times. So I'm just going to use the mushroom right there, and I have another mushroom, you're just going to use it right after this. But now we have 30, it's only going to be 8 for the 1 star requirement, definitely going to go overboard here with the requirements. Definitely going to get 3 stars, don't worry guys, if you are able to maintain your combo until the very end, then you're definitely going to get 3 stars. So yeah, there we go, we got 41. Uh, action counts right there and I think I'm just going to maybe uh, guess or predict the 3 star requirement is going to be maybe 20, let's see. And apparently it's going to be 16 so that's quite low of expectancy but yeah 16 for the 3 star requirement it should be definitely very easy for you guys to get the 3 star requirement. And there we go, we are now done with the King Boo Cup and that's going to be about it for today. I'll see you guys tomorrow for the Cat Peach Cup with Time Trial as well as the Peach Cup. Alright guys, we're back here today, it's the 28th of March, it is Monday and it's going to be the final recording part for episode 2 of our walkthrough on the Samurai Tour. Let's just jump straight into the today's challenge for today, we have Peach in an N64 Kalimari Desert 2T in the Peach Cup. We also have the Cucumber Cart and the Great Sail Glider in action. Right, Peach, I think my Peach is level 6 or level 7, I'm not too sure, either one. Uh, but definitely she is at a high level, so I think we can hopefully go for the high score and the, you know what they call it, the the frenzies and stuff. Oh, someone has a mushroom cannon, we're gonna grab this mushroom right there. Oh, I missed that mushroom, unfortunately. Oh, we just got gifted with a mushroom from someone's mushroom cannon. I'll take that. I, I did not. I was not able to use my item 
the, my last item at the very last there, so I was not able to get the full set of items. But it will not even give us a a frenzy, anyways. Okay, that's my first time taking that uh, bottom route. Usually, I always go for the top route. I think I just accidentally went down there. It was quite a very very sharp. Uh, what do you call it? A very sharp um, turn. But I lost the combo there because I was somehow my drift or mini turbo did not come out. Quite unfortunate. And there we go, first place finish with a total score of 18,026 points. Eight point one K for five stars, thirty-eight coins and six tokens. Let's open up the TCP for the sixth day of the tour here today. And it is going to be the Minion Paper Glider, three of forty level seven. And of course today I actually have the tokens of plenty event. It will be a landing on the Toadette Cup for me, so I'm just gonna do this off camera of course later on. And let's of course complete the uh, what do they call it? The Cat Peach Cup here. We have the Time Trial Race. We're going to be playing as Hammer Bro in 3DS Wario Shipyard. So I'm not too sure if I was supposed to go on the top route, if it's faster or not. But we're just gonna go with it right now for this first lap right here. I mean, usually uh, for the past few tours for these time trailer races, I always go for the you know the fast forward for you guys. But I guess for this one, we can just uh, you know race normally. I think we've already played a time trailer like in the last episode, if I remember correctly. There was one time trailer. I think it was in our Max Von Lake one, if I actually remember it correctly. Of course, I, sometimes I just kind of got confused with the previous tour. But yeah, I think this is a time trial for 3DS Warship. I think we had another one earlier on. I'm not too sure. Maybe my mind is just making things up. Okay, did not use a mushroom, so I'm just gonna use it right there. And there we go. First lap, 51 seconds and 56 milliseconds, or 0, 51, 56. And now we're gonna take the top route this time around. Not too sure where to use mushrooms for the shortcuts for this track. Okay, got the Ultra Mini Turbo, which is something to uh, consider having. Right there, we got a Super. Got another Ultra. And there we go, 1.42.58 is gonna be our time for this time trial race. I'm gonna guess it's around 1.55 or something for the 3 star requirement. Let's check it out and it's gonna be 1.58. So I was quite close with my prediction. And yeah, with that time, we are faster by roughly 16 seconds, right? Yeah, there we go, which is actually really, really good enough on its own. And there we go, we are now done with the Cat Peach Cup and that will conclude... Uh, or it will not. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, okay, <laughs> it's not actually. So yeah, Bowser's Castle T is coming up next. I thought I thought the Cat Peach Cup was the uh, the seventh, the eighth cup already. So apparently not. So let's move on. We're gonna go with um, Gold Shy Guy right here, and then Gold Pumpkin Cart, as well as the No Touch the Glider. So I'm just gonna use the Middle Shelf Glider, which is gonna be the Gold Home Field Glider, where I can still add more points to it. So yeah, Bowser's Castle T. I still don't have a top shelf glider, unfortunately. But yeah, we'll go with the middle shelf one, no big deal. Uh, I, said I actually accidentally drifted the wrong way and okay, unfortunately we just got wrecked right there. Oh, did I get on that shortcut part? It's okay. I'm noticing that if I play this track when I'm recording, it's gonna lag quite a lot. Or not really a lag, but the frame will kind of drop. The frame rate will drop. 
So sometimes misinputs can happen. Okay, blooper. I think this is gonna get six people, definitely. No, not youth womp. Okay, thank god we did not get bombed there. That's gonna be very ugly. Oh my god, that my Giga Bubble actually hit onto someone. Oh, I really hate that part actually. I'm not sure why I always keep going for that shortcut uh, path. I'm dead, yep. Saw that green shell a bit too late. Okay, but here we go, a red shell frenzy to kind of close it all off. And someone has got a coin box, this is gonna be some uh, beneficial part for us, I guess. And we are able to finish second, I think I just got someone in the air. And it took uh, quite some time for that person to recover because, you know, that person is falling down. So yeah, second place, we were able to sneak into second place from fourth, I think. The red shell frenzy definitely helped us a lot. My home goal, home field glory, will level up to 460. 11.2k for 5 stars, we got 15,646 points, 33 coins, and 14 tokens. Moving on to Koopa Troopa Beach 2R, I could have actually waited for, you know, the... Uh, what do you call it? The today's challenge to land on here today, but apparently I just kind of missed it out. I'm not too sure why, but let's go with King Boo Gold, and then the Blue 7, Level 7, and the Level 7 Cloud Glider. And we're off. Okay, we got that green shell hit somehow. Oh my god, that bomb though. Almost hit me. Ah. I really do not like snaking in these SNES courses. It's quite too... You know, too... I mean, like, there is no, like... Uh, quick ramps or something that can actually help you to maintain a combo. So it's actually really, really... Uh, what do you call it? Uh, challenging to maintain combos in normal variant tracks. But here we go, we have a banana frenzy. I'm gonna get banana right here. Okay, I would say quite a good coin box that was. Oh, we've got that green shell hit onto pink shy guy, and there we go. First place finish with a total score of 20,000. 499 or I would just literally round it off to 20.5k because that's just one point away from that but that's still quite a good uh, score for even for a non non-stop combo race 7.2k for 5 stars 58 coins and 10 tokens now moving on to the ring race we have shy guy in ninja hideaway and this is gonna be our final race for real for this episode we're gonna continue on with episode 3 in the next few days of course for my recordings but you'll be seeing this uh, episode by uh, next weekend but it's gonna be 15 for the uh, one star requirement it seems like maybe it's gonna be around 30 for the no oh i mean i miss all of those rings there i was i kind of drifted too much there should have definitely not drifted at that part but it's okay we just missed two we're gonna see how it's gonna go for the three star requirement later on so okay Mental note, just missed out on two rings. Let's uh, hope we, we do not miss out on any other rings coming up. Alright, so these uh, shy guys in the, you know, the kite there. It's gonna be the uh, label for the rings to appear. Now we are at 23. So it should definitely be more than 30 for the 3 star requirement. Because there's a lot of rings appearing out of nowhere here. Oh my god, the final one has 5. Alright, there we go. So, I only missed 2, so that's going to be 40 for the maximum number of rings. 
And we got 38, which is still should be enough for 3, so it's gonna be 35 or something. 32! Okay, so I was quite close to my prediction. My initial prediction was 30, and then my second prediction was 35, so it was apparently in between there. So then, no big deal for the 3-star requirement. There we go, easy peasy. And we are done with the Peach Cup, and yeah, let's also claim some more of the tour challenges right here. It's gonna be in the middle for the 2.5 year anniversary challenges to clear 8 cups. And that's gonna give you 2 rubies. And let's also open up our available tour gifts, and it's going to be a few tickets, 10 rubies, 3 coins, and the Wicked Wings Glider. That's gonna be halfway through to level 5 right now. And let's also open up the Daisy Cup, which is also gonna be the final cup, which will be, of course, playing by the in, in the next few days, of course. So I'm gonna go on into my shop right now, let's see what we can get from my Daily Selects pool. I can get uh, Baby Peach, why not, right? And I'm also gonna try out and open up this pack. So I'm not sure how many we can actually pull, so let's pull this one for the first time. And this pipe will be giving us a green pipe. I'm not sure what are the contents, let's see. I think it's just gonna be regular content that you can get from the pipes. So it's gonna be three normal Gladys Club tickets from this first pull. Alright, so apparently the price will go out now is 60 instead of 50 just now. So I'm just also going to go on and redeem the the main line of stuff first. King Boo 116 level 7, Dark Koopa Clown, or actually just the Dark Clown, that's going to be level 4 right now. And then we have the Lightning Oil Paper Glider, I'm going to have to start grinding on the tokens after this. And I think I can pull one ten times of the Shinobi Pipe right here, so yeah. Once again Shinobi Pipe, Pink Shy Guy Ninja Debuts. Escape your opponents with the giant banana special skill. This pipe starts off with 50 things in it. The Sakura Hop Rod debuts as well, and other frog team frog themed cards are here. So yeah, only the pink shy guy ninja character is in the spotlight. So let's pull one uh, single. Oh wait, a single a, a single ten times pull of this pipe, and let's see what we can get from this pull. So it's gonna be a gold pipe, of course, but let's see what are gonna be the contents for this ten times pull pipe. Right, so it's gonna be Baby Daisy off the bat, 1240 level 7. And then we have the. Okay, we got the Sakura Hop Rod, which is actually a new item, uh, a new stuff in this tour. So, yeah, even though it's not a spotlight, we got that new item, which is already amazing on its own. And here we go, a character. Is it gonna be uh, Pink Shy Guy? Alright, it's gonna be King Bob Go, not the character that I wanted to go for because he's already level 5 for me. So, okay, I guess we'll take that free level up. We have the birthday girl, 20, 12 of 20 level 6. And then we got the pipe buggy, 4 of 40 level 7. Next up is going to be baby Luigi, 2 of 40 level 7. Next up is going to be dry bones, 3 of 40 level 7. Next up is going to be baby Mario, 2 of 40 level 7. Green kitty card, 4 of 20 level 6. And birdo light blue, 2 of 4 level 4. Alright, so we got two high ends. Uh, one of them is actually new and it also just debuted, so it's not, no big deal. Uh, that's something good to get. And I also got a duplicate of King Babam Gold, which, is, which he is now at one of three level uh, five, right? So yeah, I think not uh, necessarily what I would uh, excited for about, but yeah, could have been Pink Shy Guy Ninja or even a Shy Guy Ninja, which we don't have yet. But okay, uh, these uh, additions were still amazing. I'm gonna save my other rubies for the next tour. I think the next tour is gonna be the Yoshi Cup, right? Uh, no, Yoshi Tour, which we might be seeing uh, gold, golden Yoshi. So yeah, that's something to look out for. But that's gonna be about it for uh, this episode, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys tomorrow for the Wario Cup. And yeah, bye-bye. Happy Mario Karting.